Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my name is Mings. Are you ready for some more? Just some bread. Doesn't matter if you're ready or not. What do you say, Kagura? Adrian and her army has made it to the Arona's capital. Wait, are we narration now? What's this, Gaiden? With few battles left before defeating Perseus, Adrian can feel victory within her grasp. However, the state of the capital shakes things up. This is the Imperial capital? What happened here? Judging by this decay, I'd say the city is suffering from neglect. It makes sense, as the war efforts and the Empire's losses have shifted their focus away from the common folk. So we have some part of the responsibility here. Once we're finished, I'll lead the rebuilding efforts here myself. It's all I can do. Good thinking, milady. Milady. Let's get out of here without making a ruckus. Of course. Let's go. Oh, it's that guy. There they are. Can this webcam fucking... There you go. It's time to end this once and for all. Alright, men. Albert wants to attack. Hold nothing back. Imperial soldiers here? Wow, yeah, you're in the capital. I mean, you should expect to see some M Imperials in the capital. They're likely a last-ditch effort from keeping us from the castle. They'll likely give their all in this battle. Agreed. Hold on, hang on a moment. On the ship docked over there, isn't that Duke Albert? You're right, it is Albert. These must be the remnants of the Wolford army, then. The last of the Loyalist Dukes. Once he is defeated, Perseus won't have anyone left. He'll be left wide open. Then defeat isn't an option. We must win here, today. What are your orders, milady? Kill every last one of them! Oh, that's right, Adrian isn't crazy anymore. Okay, cool map, I like it. I always liked map that had the tiles set on, like, the docks. I don't know why. Oh, holy light. Oh, there's the S-Rank Tome. Albert, Duke of Wolford, apathetic but capable. Okay, he's like a light sage. Expertise. Ooh. Okay, interesting. See, if you, if you crit him, he, he will only die a little bit. Klaus, right-hand man to Duke Albert, wants the fight to end. His battle veteran. Okay. Alright, this looks like to be a cool map. Oh, they got vendors, though. Let's see what they sell here. Ooh, okay, well, I have no money. Ha ha ha. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Buy oh my god, 4,500, really? That is very expensive. Holy shit, that's as expensive as the spear. I mean, I assume it is the sword equivalent of spears, but still, that's a lot. Ooh, viable Amarox. Well, I wish I saved some money now. Okay, so I never under- can someone please explain to me why the aura costs 12,000 in Sacred Stones? Like, why? Yeah, it's a good tome. It has 15 crit. But holy ball sack. 12,000? 12, 12,000 for an aura. That is absolutely absurd. Five? Wait, did physics always cost this much? I guess I'm always used to buying physics with silver cards, which, by the way, I didn't get in this hack. All right, well, let's do battle preps. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Let's take a look at what the war room has to tell us today. Donovan, I'm sorry for that. No worry about it, milady. This war has been tough on everyone. Let me handle the war room today. No, I got this. If you say so, milady. Okay. The enemy force is diverse. Watch out for what lies ahead and engage accordingly. Both commanders do move from their sport spots, so prepare a counterattack. Once you get past the first area, an assassin will spawn and will try to open the door. After the assassin spawns, four level high le four high level paladins will spawn as well. Don't let the assassin open the door. Intercept him before you can do so. Visit all the villages without letting any be destroyed will allow you to access chapter 25x. Did I do okay this time? Yes, you did, lady. Thank you, Donovan. Ah, oh, okay, so we want to visit all the villages. What door? What are you talking about? There's no doors here. Oh, okay, never mind. There is a door here. Ah, oh, okay, so if we kill the assassin, then... Oh, okay, I think I get it. Alright. Alright, guys. You know what I want to do. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no! No, stupid Pavice. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> let's, let's try this instead. I'm not a big fan of generic generals having Pavice. It's just a little annoying, in my opinion. Alright, so... Uh, I'm, I put the Juna fruit on Adrian. It just really reduces her level by one, so I'm gonna use it when she caps. Oh, actually, before I do this, I should rally luck. 
I could also like rally movement, but ah, screw it. <laughs> so I'm gonna. If we use thunder, is that that's not gonna kill? Oh, uh, I don't want to use the prototype because it's such a good tome. How about a fimble vetter? Do we have a fimble vetter? Oh, we have like two fimble vetters left. All right, then let's just do this. Because uh, then I might get a remove. Ah, it's a good, good, good way to spend my fumble. Oh, never mind. Okay, didn't spend it anyway. But yeah, once she caps, I'm just gonna use the Juna for grants me an additional level. It's pretty decent. Ah, no remove. Too bad. I think I'll uh, probably blow a physic on her, or I could just dance and save a physic. That might be better. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll just visit the village with Penny. Let's see what we have here. So I just found this nice gem the other day. I don't really have much use for it, so why not just take it for yourself? I'll definitely it'll definitely be worth more that way. Wow, gold gem, okay. Peasant just parting with twenty thousand gold. That seems legit, yeah. I'm sure like a peasant wouldn't understand the value of gold. Like they're dumb after all. They're like, what is this kinda eat it? Is it cabbage? No, okay. Here you have it. Look, peasants are just so fucking dumb, man. They don't understand anything. Um, I also realized I sold a black gem, so I actually have a lot more gold than I thought. So I think what we will do here is we'll do this, and, uh, yeah, I kind of want to get rid of these guys as well. How about Mr. Halberdier guy? Can you do anything here? You do double, but maybe we should, uh, attack first with Derek. Let's bring in Tabata. Can she reach? Should be able to. Let's try this. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, these uh, generics are definitely a little tougher than what I'm used to. Hit point, speed, and defense. Sweet. And that's bow fair. That is indeed bow fair. So now she really good, boys. All right, come on, Derek. Fifty-four percent. That's right. Take that generic Spartan. Whew. Okay, so uh, then Phineas can probably finish finish the job. <laughs> no, he can't, because he's slow. Actually, he's not. He's actually really fast. He's about the cap speed. This guy's just really fucking fast. That's... Hmm. What if I bring in the halberdier first, then I throw like a spare at him? Well, this is not going to work. Nah, it's not going to work. I guess I'll just equip a mini bow on Derek then. Uh, yeah. Mini oh, actually, you know what? Just a sword on him. Probably better. Because that means I retain weapon triangle advantage. There we go. I actually gotta be a little bit cautious, because I think these guys have, um... What do they have? Like, are they faster on enemy face? Four damage when hit points is not a max. Yeah, six attack when initiating battles. So, they hit a lot harder on enemy face. So, I gotta be careful. Alright, I can move on to these ruins right here. That's not gonna work. Uh, I might get a crit. But I don't think I will. So I guess uh, Kara can get that guy. I don't... So Pavalis is only physical in this game, I think. I haven't seen if enemies have Aegis. So, yeah, nullify a physical attack. And it works differently like it did in Sacred Stones, because... In Sacred Stones, one of the, like, all generals actually, or all enemy generals actually had uh, Pavais, and it worked on both magical and physical attacks, I think. But the reason why you almost never saw it in Sacred Stones was because there, it had a lower percentage chance to proc, and generals were treated, they they only took the level of the unit, so. Or how was it, actually? I don't actually remember how it was, I remember Mecha telling me about this. It's not even level percentage chance, it's like... Even lower than that? I don't remember. There was something weird about the proc rate, proc rate of generals in FE8. Like, it's way lower than you think or something. Someone in the comments can point this out. It's it's, it's really dumb. Here we go, and... Ah! Here we go, a rank and staves for Theodora. Alright. Come at me. So apparently the commander's move? Oh, wow. Okay, and Theodora gets doubled. Okay, these guys are actually way stronger than what, I'm, what I've been used to thus far. Looks like we're having a little bit of a difficulty spike. So, a lot of people have been saying this hack gets absolutely brutal towards the endgame. I don't know when the endgame starts. Okay, that was way too scary. Uh, I don't know when the endgame starts in this hack. I think... I read somewhere that there's like 30 chapters. I don't know if that includes Gaiden chapters. If it doesn't include Gaiden chapters, then this hack is crazy long. 
Um, oh boy. But yeah, oh my god, yeah, these these enemies are definitely a level a lot more powerful than... Oh my god, there's a pallet in there. I'm gonna get killed. Nope. Oh. Let's see here. I'm to open the doors and let the knights ambush them. Doesn't seem too tough. Ah, okay, so how, how strong are these guys? Pretty strong. But I can just attack them from across the wall if I want to. I mean, it's gonna have to be done with someone really strong. Like, prob no, wait, I can't use... Probably gonna have to use Tabitha and Derek, I think. 15 defense, 10 defense. I can't I got I don't I won't get the cover of the forests, but Tabitha went next to Derek has 77 avoid, which is pretty nice. I can stack that with like Adrian's charisma. Maybe even a rally lock. I mean I know it's not needed, because I can just kill the assassin, but I, I think it looks cool, so. Or maybe I should just ignore them. Like, honestly, this map looks pretty tough. Maybe I should just ignore them. I didn't really need to rally them, but... Okay, so I, I definitely need to open my eyes now and actually start playing properly, because these enemies will kill me. Like, up until now, the hack has been relatively, like, a breeze. But I can I can see that these enemies are... Yeah, their stats are actually really fucking high. They're really fucking high, actually. Okay, so, uh, what if I move Adrian like this? Alright, she shouldn't get hit here. Uh... But she did. So that kind of sucks. But still, those four paladins don't seem that threatening. Okay, here we go. Hit points, power, speed, lock, and defense. Will I remove? No. So, uh, we should probably heal her. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play it safe here and use a physic. Those armor knights, or those great knights have armor blow, but that's only plus defense, right? It's not resistance. Yeah, only plus 10 defense. That should be fine. I, I don't think that should be an issue at all. Alright, no chance to get crit here. But yeah, wow, look at these guys. Bad. They hit hard. Like, most of my units takes, like, one hit before they die. Okay, uh, Phineas, can you do something here? Uh, what do we have here? We have... Okay, this should be fine. Okay, what does uh, Phineas's ranks looks like? He has A in both. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just use the most accurate weapon then. And then we gotta deal with the hero. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll just do this. Oh, boy. Okay, now this is fine. Now, it would be nice if we can go and take out that sorcerer as well. We'll see if we can do something about that. Hit points. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I just assume he's gonna level hit points. Raise. Okay. Uh, boy, boy, boy. Let's go heal. And then I think we're actually gonna go and heal Tabitha with Ella. Or actually, we can just use Theodora for it. She's in range too. Alright. Oh, you can go in here. I guess that works. There you go. Is she, like, capped on magic? Almost. Why does she have two power? Uh, that's kind of weird. Oh, right, because of the special dance. That always confuses me. I, I keep forgetting about it. Alright, so here we have a, uh, this guy has a ranged sword, so we can probably use a sword slayer to deal with that guy. But I don't really want to take him on enemy face. I guess uh, if we bar we can barrier up some guys with Penny next turn. But yeah, I'll just play it a little bit safe. I think no, no sense in uh, no sense in risking things. Yeah, you can go here. Wait, so this guy hasn't moved yet. No, he has not. He has not moved at all. So I'm just gonna put Magnus here, just to block the way. Shouldn't be that hard to intercept the assassin. I mean, he's like coming right towards me. Unless he likes gonna jump over the wall or something unexpected. I don't really see the problem here. So I need to kill, based on what I think I saw, I need to kill both bosses for the map to end. Shouldn't be that hard. But yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. This should be fine, too. Oh, okay. 
All right, so at least he double. Oh wow! What the? Come on, Phineas! <laughs> what the hell, man? What's going on? Mm hmm. Here comes the paladins. Oh wait, is that an arena? That's an arena. Oh boy, eclipse! Eclipse that actually hits. That's scary. That's an arena. Yeah, here comes the heroes. Time for Sword Slayer Dan. Wonder if he one shots. I mean, he has almost capped strength at this point. I can dance for him to kill two. Okay, so where's George? Uh, let's just. Gotta remember to rally. Wish I could have rallied Adrian this turn, but alas, it was not to be. Okay, so uh, I think I'm gonna put. Okay, so how scary are these guys against Adrian? A little bit scary, but if she's in the if she's in the forest, she should be fine. So we'll use that Juna fruit. So you go down a level, but you don't lose any stats. So it's it, essentially like a small eternal seal. Do we want to use Amarok here? I think maybe. Uh, there's like a pod in here. I think we're fine. So, but I'm curious to see if Dan can. Yeah, he he won rounds or one shots more likely. So that's great. Oh god, I love Sword Slayers, and I have like two more of them. So, uh, I don't think Dan will cap skill anytime soon. Uh, the Berserker, what is the Berserker skill cap anyway? And even if he does it, like... Oh, actually their skill cap is really high, it's like 28. Okay, so he can keep that skill relic for quite a while. He's probably never going to lose it because... I mean, I don't think he'll ever come close to capping skill. It's level 12, like... Even, it's a 35% skill growth. He'll have to level it, like, six or seven more times for it to be valuable for me to take it off him. Oh my god, perfect. That only kills because of special dance, I think. Or, you know, or because that, that can also happen. <laughs> there we go. God, it's so nice to have a guy that one-shots heroes. That's, like, heroes are very tricky to deal with when enemies get stronger, because it's, there's no, they're usually fast enough to not be doubled, and they're kind of beefy too, so they're not that easy to kill in one round, or you, you usually have to use several units. So just have a unit that can, like, one-shot one them is so nice. Okay, so Tabita, you can stay within support range of your brother, please. There you go. We, <laughs> steel bow, all we need. She's actually one of the lowest level uh, soldiers in my army right now, so I'm gonna try to give her a kill every turn. Same thing with Derek, really. I feel like using a... I know hoarding is a bit of a pitfall, but... I mean, come on. If I, if I only need a steel bow, I only need a steel bow. There we go. I do wonder if Derek would have been better if I kept him as a sniper. I mean, I like his movement, but I like to keep him close to Tabitha, so it would maybe have made more sense for me to just make make them both snipers, or both uh, rangers. That could also have been a thing, but I don't know. I like female snipers, so. Okay, uh, I think if we want to right now, we can probably take down that annoying Eclipse guy with the Lunatome. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. Might miss, but if we take him out... That's going to be one less annoying enemy to deal with. There we go. And that's another level up for Kara. Hit points, power, skill, and luck. Nice. She's starting to cap her stats soon? Yeah, yeah, she's capped speed a while ago, but... Alright, so this mage obviously needs to die. Oh, that's a one-shot. Pew, 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 pew. And dead. And that's the level up for Nissa too. She is now level 10. Skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Sweet. Oh, that's uh, Tan TV. I think that's what it's called. The one that gives her, uh, yeah, it's 10 hit. Plus 10 hit avoid when there are no allies within tree tiles. Does require to fly a little bit solo for it, for it to, you know, you know, for you to be able to take effect of it. But it's a pretty good skill, I think. Uh, Alright, Magnus, you can go visit the village. The shops here sell the nicest weapons around. I reckon this will be your best chance to stock up on the strongest gear you can get your hands on. Okay, I'll uh, I'll make sure to hoard a lot. Alright, Penny, why don't you go and uh, keep Dan topped off? He needs that one extra hit point to survive, you see. Very important. 
Okay, these guys look stationary, and they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll move Phineas down here. And Ella down here. Yeah, we'll let Adrian deal with the brunt of the enemies, as always. And there's the assassin. Shouldn't be that hard to kill. I assume he's not aggressive. Wouldn't surprise me if he just keeps going. Like, if he's ordered to open the door, I doubt he'll attack. Yeah, as you can see, these heroes are very strong. Oh, there's the general. So, uh, maybe, I don't, maybe I'll put the power relic back on Adrian when she caps. Because she's like, with that power, actually, she still wouldn't have killed even with the power relic here. But I feel like she's very close to one rounding. Although, maybe it's nice for her to actually leave guys in low HP so my other guys can swoop in and take the kills. Alright, lots of paladins here. And pirates. Oh, we gotta save that village now. What about that last paladin there? Is he just gonna stand there? Nope, he's here. And as always, just not killing. Oh! Oh yeah, he procced uh, Aegis. Right, he has Aegis! Never mind, I'm a dum dum. I was like, oh, there's no Aegis in this game. Yeah, I yeah, know, all the paladins have Aegis. All the paladins have Aegis. Okay, so, uh, shouldn't be that hard to bring these guys down. Yeah, look at Nissa, she's great. Cap power, power relic. That's how you do it. But yeah, I don't really want to take a chance. Those assassins are just so scary, like, <laughs> you're a little bit unlucky and they'll just kill you, so... Oh, he has, uh, yeah, just standard assassin skills. His stats are really high, too. Okay, uh, Dan, maybe go down here again. I don't know who we dance for this turn, but it would be nice if, uh, oh, Tabitha can maybe... Oh, that's perfect, but let's bring Derek down first. Perfect. Because I, I want that fire affinity hit bonus. Hell, maybe I can even... Nah, let's see if Derek can rally Adrian. I don't think he can, but we can we can check. Uh, no, he cannot. But he can do this, I guess. Is it plus four or plus eight? That's plus four. But then we can do this. And that's a 90. So it's like... So their support gives 17% hit to Tavita. I mean, light affinity kind of bad, but I, I guess... Com when combined with the fire affinity, it's not that bad, that uh, terrible. Of course, I would have preferred double fire. That's like the best combo. Um, all right, Magnus, you move in here. Gotta be a little bit careful here. I gotta get rid of the paladins. Uh, maybe Phineas can do that. I can maybe. I don't know if these. Oh boy, it's, that's a halberd. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how what their hit rate is against. Uh, okay, that's pretty nasty actually. Should I just maybe visit the village right away? Also, I'm not sure. If I block the assassin, he might attack me, and that's bad, so... Maybe I should just try and kill him? I could try the prototype, maybe? Let's see. Let's try the prototype. It wouldn't... I don't think he's aggressive, but... Oh, wow. Actually, I might just one-shot him with, like, an L-fire, or... I'll just play it safe and do this. The guy has 30 HP. Is this guy, like, extra weak or something? He has a slim sword, too. I just realized. Anyway, he's dealt with... Maybe he was, like, a unique character or something. Still no, uh, remove. Um, I don't know why it's so difficult for me to get removes. It used to happen all the time before. Now it never happens. I'm sad. Alright, I'm, I'm a rock here. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, I'm just gonna pray the pirates don't attack, I think. Because that's a little nasty. Oh, life taker. That is nice. Okay, maybe I'll just try and kill the halberd guy, and I could always, like, change to a lighter. I don't know if the Amarok weighs her down. What's her con again? She has eight cons, so she's fine with the Amarok. But I, I still don't want to waste it, so I'll do this. Alright, let's try this. Hopefully won't hit. Okay, thank god. There we go. And he's gone. God, I kind of want to go into the arena. I know it's a bad idea, but... 
Oh, cool, we still had our Dancer left. And Kara, I actually completely forgot about that. I thought this was gonna be my last move. Alright, we can get rid of this guy then, that's nice. Oh, the guy had a Brave Sword. Good thing I killed him then. Maybe, uh, no, I don't... I was considering maybe killing the last pirate with Penny, but I think I'd rather just heal a Bella. I could kill him. Oh, Penny still doesn't have a Light Tome. Seriously, I gotta fix that. It's actually annoying me a lot that she doesn't have a Light Tome. Ah, the Rescue Staff. I'll have it available for when I need it. So easy to get it into the combo anyway. Yeah, I gotta... It's nice for Penny to be able to defend herself, so I wanna keep that Light Tome on her. Oh, shit, wait. The boss move, I think. I think? They said that the bosses move. Wait, Adrian has the prototype. Of oh, they do attack, so good thing I killed the Halberd. That's actually really good. Yeah, if I didn't kill the Halberd, things would have been pretty bad, I think. Yeah, he does move. Okay, but I have a tome that's super effective against him. So, it's come to this. Very well done. Let's see how you handle my holy light. Is it effective against... It was effective against the summoner. It could maybe just be effective against dark magic? Oh, I think this is a reaver tome. Because it's, um... Yeah, because he's wielding light magic, and I'm wielding uh, anima magic, and he's effective against me. So it's definitely a reaver tome. It's a weird tome, holy crap. But, yeah, he should be dead next turn. And I'm fairly certain I have to kill both bosses, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, defeat Albert and Klaus. Alright then, um, I say we just get to it, really. I do want to go visit the shop though, but maybe we can do that at the start of the next episode. Do we just prototype here, or what do we do? Uh, that actually seems to work just as fine. Um, yeah, let's just Alfire him. So I, I assume he drops his Holy Light? Kinda glad to see they're using the Evaldi animation for this and not one of their self-made animations. You are dead, Albert! Perseus, my empire. Emperor, it's all up to you now. Bop bop. Da da. Oh, she's level 20 again. Can I have more Juna fruits, maybe? <laughs> Alright, 29 speed. It's pretty cool. And Holy Light. Sweet. She can just get that, I think. Yeah! Yeah, she can use it. Oh yeah, she can use it. But, uh... I guess it's okay to use... Okay, so I'm not gonna die here, am I? 14, 14. Nah, she's pretty beefy. I mean, I could also kill them with someone else. That is actually better equipped with this. Alright, well, I think this is actually a good time to end the episode. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll fight Klaus. Leaf first, Klaus. Reinhardt has epically taken children hostage. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Have a good day. And see you guys later. Bye-bye. That's a lot of bye-byes I just said. I'm like those hackers, I just repeat myself a lot.